using stem cells, a cartilage repair and tissue engineering by Professor Layla Mahmoud Montasser. Professor of Clinical Pathology, Chair of Stem Cell Regenerative Medicine, Nanotechnology and Tissue Engineering, SRNT Research Group. Chair Founder Leader of Clinical Pathology Department, Faculty of Medicine, Hanafi University, Egypt. Selected for three times at 1986-1998 and 2002 by Council of Manifaya University to award of Ideal Doctor from Egyptian Medical Syndicate. Supervised more than 45 Master Science and 13 Doctor Theses. Have an important intellectual property. Number 91, dated 18 April 2011. Presented to both Egyptian Minister of Higher Education and Minister of Education on a proposal of a national project to launch an innovative strategy by integration of novel education methods, entrepreneurship education in the educational system in Egypt focus on the preparation of youth to meet the requirements of the labor market and develop a plan to implement the education needs associated with the labor market accordingly now applied. An honorable editorial board member, peer reviewer for many national and international journals. Outline. I will start with summary of my presentation. Then, synopsis draws on some of my deep experience in the domain of regenerative medicine and cartilage tissue engineering. And then, conclusion. Due to the many health and the travel restrictions, most of the conferences committees decided to converse to the online conferences. So I decided to convert presenting my research at conferences webinars online. My viewpoint is inspired from the critical challenge of stoppage of work and research at lab during COVID-19 pandemic. So I decided using online webinars or conferences to inform my practices and novel approaches. Innovative approaches are systematically encouraged and the spread of good practice to achieve wider adoption significantly accelerated. I must ensure that informed perspectives from top global medicine spurs are heard and shared. I pick up novel signs from such disaster. Summary of my presentation. Cartridge repair and renovation. Stay specially incurable, owing to a much weak regenerative prospect of this tissue. Fit in the clinical decline of rebuilding of cartilage disorders. The scope of cartilage engineering has advanced. Until now, the plurality of research into cartilage restoration has been concentrated on articular cartilage due to the considerable predominance of weak osteoarthritis in a more and more senility people. Consequently, tissue engineering which targets to originate new and amended tissue and organ subrogate has elicited growing benefits for articular culture to be formed. While stem cells grasp large possibilities for the handling of plentiful lesions and degenerative joint illnesses, various hurdles should be conquer before their medicinal implementation will be recognized. They comprise the evolution of sophisticated process of advanced techniques to trajectory and evidence implanted stem cells. The fulfillment of nanotechnology to stem cell biology is promising to rubric the challenges of the dot 
of inoculated cells to conclave to gold tissues. Our, our objective is to contact engineers by material skills to advocacy cell culture and create novel cartilage tissue. This manuscript displays existing notions and themes in cartilage engineering with a confirmation on the employment of stem cells and nanotechnology in the output of biomimetic cartilage, reconditioned people. The domain of cartilage tissue engineering, which is pointed to repair, renovate, and recover damages for cartilage working, has all this exaggerated potential for effective cartilage treatment. There is a huge commitment to improve contemporary cartilage medications across a thinning, a systematically effective tactic for treating cartilage torments. Tissue engineering reveals a better mod to make this intent by means of the use of stem cells, novel biologically inspired skill faults, and emerging nanotechnology. Synopsis draws on some of my deep experience in the domain of regenerative medicine and cartilage tissue engineering. Isolation protocol of mesenchymal stem cells, monubrious cell separation from bone marrow on fecal, primary culture of monubrious cells, then subculture of isolated mesenchymal stem cells, the cells from primary culture were seeded for first and second passage. Inverted microscope images of morphology of stem cells. A. Rounded adherent cells on the second day after first seeding. B. Fusiform fibroblastoid cells with many rounded cells on the seventh day. C. Fusiform fibroblastoid cells with 50% confluence on the 12th day. D. Increase the fibroblastoid adherent cells on the 15th day with 80% confluence. E. Differentiated mesenchymal stem cells on day 4 with some change in the morphology of mesenchymal stem cells to rounded and the epithelial cells in between fibroblastoid cells. F. Differentiated mesenchymal stem cells on day 7 with more morphological change of mesenchymal stem cells to polygonal hepatocyte-like cell. The second webinar was also a keynote speech at Pharma Chemistry Conference online webinar on the 22nd of May. 2020 from Paris, France, under the title of Innovative Outlook for Containing COVID-19. Current available therapies fail in severe disease, where the whole mark is a cytokine storm induced by the COVID-19 in the lung. I consider novel approaches to improve patients' biological resistance to COVID-19 using stem cells and to capture the therapeutic properties of stem cells with using nanotechnology. I'm handling to inspire a therapy for use in hopes of slowing the propagation of the disease. This paper titled Application Placid Rich Plasma Preparation Reaching Growth Factors in Knee Osteoarthritis with the Golden Master Science Thesis. It is a story of success, where the jury board of the thesis stated for being a superb scientific breakthrough with 92.8% success average for the first time in Egypt. They claimed the faculty council to put into clinical enforcement in patients of knee osteoarthritis and the practical realization of this credible technique for being a scientific vigorous accomplishment for the Faculty Faculty of Medicine and, and my Department of Clinical Pathology. This figure shows clinical success percentage, excellent 64%, good 
28% with only 7% poor. This is my 2016 editorial manuscript published in the International Journal of Advances in Tissue Engineering and Regenerative Medicine titled Regenerative Medicine and Tissue Engineering Driving Innovation of Medical Science and Technology where I narrated the story started with my nomination by the Council of Manufia University Egypt to 12th Prize 2016 in Medical Sciences of the World Academy of Sciences for the advancement of science in developing countries to introduce my important achievements to the application of science and technology and scientific research contributions of fabulous importance for the development of scientific concept. The justifications furnished with the golden master science of clinical pathology. A success story of putting innovative technology into practice. The team of the journal informed me that they received citation report of their journal for which my article captured cross citations all over the globe. Moreover, the journal has increasing visibility with my quality manuscript. This is screenshotting of the email which I received from the journal. This paper, titled Articular Calcium Tissue Engineering with Plasma Rich and Growth Factors and Stem Cells with Luminous Care Forms, showed at the 2016 conference at San Diego, California, USA, and published in the proceeding of the conference. This article presents our pilot study employing plasma rich and growth factors on the kind of stem cell with nanoscale folds in wood and your joint to highlight the regenerative effect of moving kind of stem cell therapy on the injured joint. The figure provides a schematic representation of the process of tissue regeneration in cartilage tissue engineering. The cells were harvested from the animal model and after in vitro cell culture, cells were seeded onto scapegoat and then transplanted into an animal articular cartilage defect model. Sustainable development demands utilizing technological innovation to progress human healthiness and well-being in contemporary and upcoming generations. The present technology transport forms are said to be unqualified to realize the requirements of developing nations. The purpose of this manuscripts is the evolution of innovative curative solutions for damaged organs and tissues and to combat the persistent increase of health expenses, particularly in the remedy of chronic illnesses. This paper highlights my attempts to fulfill sustainable development in health by implementing science, technology and innovation and availability of novel paid solutions to process sustainability confrontations. This article displays a concentrated points on some of my vehicle plant fully experience gained from pilot research studies to show an Egyptian visibility across the investigation of extra efficient styles of exhibiting and designing 
STI to the troubles of my nation in the domain of hepatitis C virus and liver diseases by requesting new lab tests for early diagnosis, also characterizing my innovative technology using stem cell for renovation of liver tissues and articular cartilage meant to emphasize the evolution of innovative curative solutions for damaged organs and tissues. Stem cell technology displays the best capability for outputting therapies to alleviate the distress of millions of patients living with presently hopeless medical cases. Progressing Evolutions in biomedical research has the chance to create a great support to the health and sustainability of human society. A keynote speech of Professor Laila Montasser titled Nano Approach in Articular Cartilage Tissue Regeneration. Cartilage has a limited regenerative capacity. Faced with the clinical challenge of reconstruction of cartilage defects, the field of cartilage engineering has evolved. A definite need exists for functional techniques to stimulate regeneration and provide a replacement for the damaged cartilage. Before transplantation, Meaning primary stem cells were generally seeded on nanoscaffold that recapitulate the extracellular matrix and provide cells with information that is important for tissue development. Accordingly, innovative tissue engineering approaches to induce and enhance cartilage regeneration are being applied. Recommendations are made for the evolution of future clinical innovative strategies, applying mesenchymal stem cells in nanoscape force could improve the quality of new developed cartridge. My first perspective, recently published as an editorial paper in international journal under the title of A Therapeutic Approach from Lab to Clinic in the Domain of the Disease Caused by the Novel Coronavirus from the Perspective of an Egyptian Scientist. The aim of the study is to establish an optimized method for treating new coronavirus patients using plasma rich in growth factors from recovered cases suitable as a therapy for novel COVID-19 patients. My approach is based on the theory that antibodies provided by acute cases would support the immune system of novel patients. This figure represents the overall workflow involved in the cure of new COVID-19 patients using blood plasma rich in growth factors from recovered patients. Intravenous blood collected from recovered patients and then subject to two sequential centrifugation steps, separation and centrifugation. The first centrifugation separates pellets plasma, leukocytes, and platelets from red blood cells. The second centrifugation collects concentrated platelets in a small volume of plasma, designed as plasma rich in growth factors. My second perspective is very recently published in international jour journal under the title of Could putting the mesenchymal stem cell therapy into practice be an optimistic therapy for the critically ill COVID-19 patients? I present an accurate lab modality in preparing mesenchymal stem cells, which might be a perfect opinion to cure the seriously sick novel COVID-19 cases. Beneath this situation, I suppose that blood-derived mesenchymal stem cells generated from the critically ill novel COVID-19 patients 
himself, Utolemy, suggested as a treatment for him. Therefore, my viewpoint spots a modern curative therapy and strategy. The total workflow involved in suggested treatment of new COVID-19 patients using the kind of stem cell from the patient, Tolliver, is schematically symbolized in the figure. This figure shows schematic sketching the workflow of my proposition. Conclusion. Means in chimal stem cells represent an attractive cell type for research and therapy due to their ability to proliferate, differentiate, modulate immune reactions and secrete trophic factors. Therefore, preclinical and clinical trials have been performed to determine the therapeutic potential of the chimal stem cells. Because of possibility of post transplant rejection and crucial donor shortage, we are now trying to find alternative ways. Stem cell based therapy has received attention as a possible alternative to organ transplantation, owing to the ability of stem cells to repopulate and differentiate at the engrafted site. Stem cell technology in reactive medicine has the potential to provide an unlimited supply of cells for medical transplantation, fact testing, and academic research. The domain of cottage tissue engineering, which is planned to reform, renovate injured cottage working, has holds great prospects for effective cottage therapy. Our hope is that stem cells will play a crucial role in the future therapy of cartilage diseases. The present a new technology might be encouraged to be diffused from the lab to the clinic. Thank you.